Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will analyze the unique play style of Muhammad Salah. So to make this clear, this analysis will be divided into two parts. Also, all the clips and the stats that you will see in this video are from this season only. Now let's get right into it. In this example, Salah was being pressed by two players. He noticed the space available and the chance to link up with Firmino for a 1-2 pass. He passed the ball and directly moved out. Now that he received the ball again, he passed it and switched the play to increase the pace of the attack. Even though he wasn't involved in the attack here, he starts sprinting forward as he noticed the space since the opposition will be pulled outside. This helped progress the attack forward with such a long pass behind the defensive line. Same thing here, by reading the play he starts sprinting forward before Shakiri receives the ball. He takes the advantage from his pace during these transitions. Even if you weren't close enough at the beginning, you may find such spaces at the end of the attack. In this example, you can see how he starts sprinting very early to provide the passing option. Then, as the opposition acknowledges his possession, he moves backward to give himself enough space if he receives the ball. Now that the opposition is busy looking towards the ball, he quickly moves inside to get the advantage from the blind side. Now he is in a 1v1 situation inside the box. You need to stay active on the pitch. Notice how he provides a passing option by dropping down, he doesn't receive the ball, so he performs a forward run behind the defensive line, and finally gets the ball. You will not receive the ball every time you perform a run. Many good runs go unnoticed, just keep doing them. Here Salah was under pressure, however by keeping the ball with him for a bit longer and reading the situation, he found out that Vinaldum is the best passing option, as he will have spaces inside the box since the opposition will be pulled out. So Salah was able to deliver the pass. When he keeps the ball with him for a bit longer, he pulls the attention of the opposition, then goes for the unexpected pass. He completed 191 passes under pressure. Same thing here, this simple body feint got rid of two markers, which allowed him to deliver the cross even easier. He makes sure to move towards the space, if any, to pull the defenders towards him, then passes it to his teammates. Here again, moving towards the space first with the ball and then playing the pass. He also performs a lot of link-up plays. He tries to provide many 1-2 passes opportunities. The one-touch passes help him complete these plays. He completed 91.4% of his short passes. Before we continue, I just wanted to thank Be Your Best for sponsoring this video. Be Your Best is the perfect training tool for footballers. It is an interactive VR tool that will help you increase your scanning and decision-making abilities. The link will be available in the description down below. He goes for some switches of the play to Mane and Robertson sometimes. He completed 14 switches this season.
He likes to be on the receiving end of the link-up plays as well. He always moves out after passing the ball to provide another passing option. So we're back to this example again, but from a different angle. Notice how holding onto the ball pulled the opposition towards him which left huge spaces on the other side. Here again, moving forward with the ball to pull the defender's attention, so instead of Moki Firmino, the last defender was busy looking at Salah. So once he passed the ball, Firmino was in front of the defender, which helped him score this goal. Again, holding on to the ball, pulling more defenders towards him, now it's a 3 vs 7 situation. Yad Salah founds the passing option and plays this key pass. Salah traveled a total of 5,457 yards with the ball so far this season. As you can see, this helps his teammates receive the ball without pressure most of the time during the attacking phase. The forward runs help him score many goals. He tries to make sure of a couple of things while performing them. Obviously, he makes sure that the link is made with his teammates. Then he tries to go for the space between the fullback and the center back of the opposition, as this is the most dangerous space to perform any runs behind the defensive line from. Also, as the opposition moves out to mark Trent Alexander Arnold, he goes for many runs behind the defensive line. He also takes the advantage from pressing the opposition from the back as you can see in this example. Salah has improved a lot in the defensive aspects since he joined Liverpool under Jurgen Klopp, depending on the situation of course, but this season he got some responsibilities to help Trent Alexander-Arnold during the defensive phase. He completed 26 tackles so far this season, which is his highest with Liverpool. You can also see how the tackling success percentage really improved this season. So that was it guys, as we said earlier, the second part will cover the remaining subjects. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.